Hey what's going on guys my name is Jim Fahad. Before starting this tutorial I want to show you one problem that might happen with you while you are using Elementor's new Flexbox container environment. So here we can see two containers. Here is the top container and here underneath we can see another container. So let's start with this top container. Here have a look if we select this heading from left we can set its alignment to left or right or centered. Also with this heading widget we can set its alignment to left, right or centered. And this is normal, this is the usual way. Now have a look on this below container, this one. If we select this heading, now from left, if I change the alignment to left, now the alignment is not changing. Also if I set it to right or centered or left, nothing is changing. Also with this heading widget, from the alignment, if I set it to left or right, you see nothing is changing here. Actually, my goal with this tutorial is not only to solve this problem, but by solving this problem, I want to make you understand the three core features of the Elementor container. First, the flex direction, then the align items, and thirdly, align self option. I know these are a bit confusing, but trust me, after watching this tutorial, these terms would be super easy for you. And I believe instead of giving you a theory, it's always best to learn with real examples. Let's now start from scratch so I can explain everything properly. First click on this plus icon and for the container structure, I'm selecting this single one. First to make its height, I'm making the minimum height in VH and let's set it 80 VH. And here first I want to do very regular thing with it. Just go under style tab from the background type. I'm selecting a background image. Let's select this image and then I'm making the position to center center, attachment to fixed, repeat to no repeat and size to cover. Also let's add a bit background overlay from here. So I'm just setting the background color to black color and then the overlay or opacity I'm making it 0.7. Alright, now here first I'm dragging an heading widget here inside this container and I don't want to do any crazy thing with this heading. I'm just writing here Jim Fahad Digital and then let's set the alignment to right. Now go under style tab. I'm just making the text color to white color. Alright, that's it. Nothing crazy. Then simply I just want to duplicate this heading. So from here let's duplicate this heading. And I'm changing this text to you deserve to be seen. And here instead of H2, I'm making the HTML tag to H3. All right. Now, first, I want to make you understand the flex direction. Make sure you have selected the container from here. Go under its layout. Then from left, open the items. So whenever we're taking any new container, the direction is set to column. So basically this option because if we set the direction to column, you see nothing is changing. So this is the default direction. And if you set the direction to this option, it says row, then the elements will organized one after another horizontally. And if we keep the direction to column, then the elements will appear one after another vertically. Alright, now with this heading 2 and heading 3, these are the set of content. Now I want to make this set of content vertically centered. I mean, I want to make them centered together vertically. To do it, we need to use this option. It says justify content. So from here, if we set the justify content to center, you see all the contents that's inside this container is now centered together vertically. Then if you set the justify option to the flex end, it's now aligned to the bottom. Also, there are several options like space between. So one at the top and one at the bottom. Also, there are more options like space around and space evenly. But here I want to keep it as centered. And now if I want to make them centered horizontally, we need to use this option. It says align items. So from here, I'm making the align items to center. Now they are horizontally centered together. All right, have a look now. If I want to select individually, I mean, if I select this heading individually, go under its content and let's set the alignment to left. You see, it's not changing. 
let's try to make it centered or right aligned nothing is working with this alignment option okay let's select the second heading try the alignment the left or centered or right nothing is changing with this alignment option all right so let's go back to our container and open the items as we have set our align items to center from here now the individual alignment settings are no longer working so this time if you want to align them individually you just need to select that element go under its advanced tab you need to control the alignment from here it says align self so for example now if you want to make it align left you need to select the align self option it says flex start you can make it align right by selecting the flex end and if you deselect all the options it will get the global option that's basically coming from this containers items align items so you can control all the elements alignment together from this align items like you can set them left aligned right aligned or centered aligned together now i want to give you another example so to do it i want to take another container inside of this container so just click on this rubik's cube icon and from here i'm dragging this container underneath this second heading here oops let's just drag this heading at the top of the new container here all right so this is our new container inside the main container so from here if we select this container okay before doing anything let's insert some element within this container so click on this rubik's cube icon and here i'm dragging a button widget inside of this container i just want to change the color of this button so go under the style tab and from here you know just i'm making its color to a reddish color like this and also i'm giving it some border radius like 20 pixel all right so within this container now we have one button i'm just duplicating this so from here let's duplicate this button okay now have a look if we select this inner container this one go to its items like i said all the containers by default have direction set to the column then together if you wanna align them horizontally you can do that by using align items like you can make them centered horizontally or right aligned or left aligned but here instead of aligning them together like this i want them to align one after another horizontally so let's first deselect the align items instead of the direction set to column i'm setting it as the row now they are one after another horizontally and now have a look as we have selected the direction as row now if we change the alignments to centered or right nothing is happening visually but actually they are setting the alignment horizontally we cannot see it because we haven't set any height with this container but let's just select this container go to this container tab from here only to give you an example if i set some height here and this time let's open the items now have a look as we have set the align items to the flex end that's why they are vertically aligned from the end or from the bottom if we set it to the flex start they are aligning from top or if we set it to the center they are now vertically centered as we have set the direction as row okay but i don't want any height with this so i'm just deselecting the align items from here also let's remove the height from inside this container so i'm just selecting the default okay now open the items like i said i don't want them vertically centered but i want to make them centered horizontally here so to do it you already guessed it that's the justify content let's set the justify content to center and you know you can also use this space between or space around options but i'm setting it as center i hope now you properly understand the correlation between flex direction align items and align self and if you want me to create more elementor flexbox explanatory videos like this please feel free to comment on this video with your opinions i hope you have learned something new today if you like it please give this video a big thumb up and don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel also press on that notification bell icon to get notified before anyone whenever i will upload a new video on this youtube channel and if you want me to help you on your wordpress project or elementor project then you can contact me through my website that's jimfahaddigital.com 
I will try my best to help you personally. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. For now, bye-bye.